Hello everyone, it's Anna here uh, to share with you an interesting case that I've seen today. Um, so the patient is a 10 year old female spade staffy. Um, so we saw it in um, November of uh, last year uh, for a right nasal cavity polyp. Um, at that time, we um, recommended trawling uh, prednisolone to see if um, we are able to shrink the polyp. Um, so since then, there has been um, not much improvement. Um, the owner reported that there has been increased watery discharge from the right nostril. And um, the dog is also uh, making a lot of congested noises um, with the nasal obstruction and also actually having difficulty sleeping at night um, due to the congestion. So today we have performed a uh, um, CT scan. And then, um, so we can see the extent of soft tissue um, lesion has progressed rostrally and also increased in size within the na nasal pharynx. So over here, we can see this is the lateral view. So um, when we are on to this side here, so that's the left um, nasal cavity, we can see, um, so the... Um, cribiform plate and then the ethmoid turbinates and also um, so all these turbinates those are all looking very normally because it's on the left side it's a normal um, side and then when we move on to the right hand side we can see that it's all filled up with um, a soft tissue lesion um, and at the point of the first scan in um, November, um, there was just soft tissue lesion that was noted on the right hand side. Um, at this point uh, in time today, we can see that the soft tissue lesion has extended to um, the left nasal cavity. So, and on this view here, so we can see that this part here is all filled up with soft tissue lesions. Okay, um, so there's no evidence of any turbinate or nasal bone destruction that we can see on CT scan. So the edges are all um, sharp and um, distinct. Okay, and there was also an incidental finding of a tooth root abscess uh, at 109. Um, so you can see that this is the nor uh, how the normal tooth root should look like. And then we can see here there's a pocket of um, soft tissue lucency there. Okay, so that right there. Okay, so um, incidentally the dog also has a very bad um, uh, smelling mouth. So that might be the reason why it's that smelling. So today we perform a right-sided dorsal rhinotomy and removed a large amount of polycystic polypoid tissue. Um, so I'm just going to try and focus here. So you can see how it looks very polypoid there. Okay, so this is about only about half the amount that we've removed. So uh, we've removed much more than this. Just trying to focus here. Okay. Um, and also during the surgery, um, there were moderate amount of um, hemorrhage noted, uh, about 11%, uh, which was expected and uh, typical for this type of surgery. And the histopathology um, has, uh, is being sent off um, too. And that's it for the interesting case for today. Um, thank you. Bye.